Hey everyone, and welcome to today's Heart to Home devotional. And as always, it's a blessing to be here with you as we open up God's Word. God's Word is always exciting. Um, so this last week, I, I started to read in the book of 2 Corinthians on my own time. And Paul writes about some very personal things in this book. This apostle, this leader, this tough man tells the Corinthian church in the second chapter that he wrote them out of much affliction and anguish of heart and with many tears. So these are things that can be hard for uh, men in general to admit to. And he says he was in the middle of affliction, in anguish of heart, and he cried many tears. If somebody walked up to me and expressed those three things to me, I think it would get my attention and I would, I would have to pause and stop and see if I can, could help them. And sometimes we may not realize the, the types of things that, that people in ministry are going through, but it, it appears to me there was three areas that caused the anguish that Paul was experiencing. First, there were the trials of heavy circumstances. In 2 Corinthians 1.8, it says, For we do not want you to be unaware, brothers, of the affliction we experienced in Asia. For we were so utterly burdened beyond our strength that we despaired of life itself. That's a, that's a heavy burden. And secondly, there was the weight of burden that he had for those he loved, especially the church. And seeing them go through afflictions placed a burden on him. And then thirdly, the weight of burden placed on him by the people he loved themselves. So don't we get, in the church, don't we get weighed down by those, those three things? We experience affliction, heavy sometimes. We experience pain when those we love go through affliction. And we are utterly burdened when it, it's those we love whose actions hurt us. So our first inclination is often to try and remove the source of these afflictions. Stop doing ministry because it causes much affliction, stop caring for those around me because their pain causes me pain, and stop investing in those relationships around me because those relationships are now causing me harm. But let's look at what Paul says. And this is the verse that I really had to pause on. And it especially has to do with the, the second area that I mentioned. So in 2 Corinthians 1, 7, it says, Our hope for you is unshaken, for we know that as you share in our sufferings, you will also share in our comfort. Paul says that even though I see you suffering, even as I am suffering, I still have hope for you. My hope for you is unshaken. And often when that idea is expressed, it also says, even to the end. It's unshaken or steadfast, even to the end. It's, so it's hope that will not end no matter what or how long or how hard it is. He has this hope because he knows of God's comfort. And there's much to say about God's comfort, but I want to point out two verses to you in this Devo. Comfort is one of those words that we use so much that it may lose its impact at times. So in Acts 9.31, it says, So the church throughout all Judea and Galilee and Samaria had peace, and it was being built up, and walking in the fear of the Lord and in the comfort of the Holy Spirit, it multiplied. So did you catch that? That the comfort of the Holy Spirit was no small thing. It was one of the building blocks of the early church. 
It should not be underestimated. And then in Romans 15, 4, we read, For whatever was written in former days was written for our instruction, that through endurance and through the encouragement of scriptures we might have hope. So that word encouragement is the same word as for comfort. And the comfort of the scriptures is intended to produce hope in us. So if you are being overwhelmed by any of those three things that we talked about, turn your mind and your heart to the comfort of the Holy Spirit, to the encouragement and comfort of the scriptures. And I think that you will find your hope will also be unshaken. Let's go ahead and close in prayer. Lord, uh, none of us enjoy going through circumstances that, that cause us affliction and anguish and tears. Lord, but we know that those times come and, and Lord, we know that you are with us in that. And I do pray, Lord, that we would search for the comfort of your spirit and search for the comfort of your scriptures and that you would bring us through that. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, God bless you guys, and we'll see you the next time.